Welcome back to Afternoon Express. If you've just joined us, we're back in our fabulous kitchen and we're about to start making a haddock pie. That's what we're making. Yay. We're going to be making haddock fish pie. I was just saying to you earlier, haddock to me is like the bacon of the sea. It's smoky, yeah. it's delicious, and it sometimes, like you say, gets overlooked. I love the taste of haddock. I love it as well. So we're going to be making a haddock pie. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start off by just turning on the heat here and adding some milk. And I'm going to poach my haddock fillets in the milk for about six to eight minutes. Okay. Now... A lot of people also look down on frozen fish and they think, oh no, you know, it's not as good as fresh fish. Right. But Sea Harvest's fisheries literally are two meters away from the docks. So your fish is coming from the boats into their factories. They're getting cleaned and fresh, flash frozen. And you definitely, they lock in the quality. So you don't mm. have to worry about mm. your fish not being of high quality. And it's mm. so convenient because you can keep this in the freezer and take it out when you require it. So we're going to put this in the, in the, in the milk for about... Why like in milk? So you can poach. always make haddock and milk. So we're going to poach it and what's going to happen is because we're making a fish pie, I want to make like a creamy, cheesy right, sauce. Right. So we're going to okay. do this and then I don't want to waste this milk. I'm going to reuse this milk mm. in my sauce. So uh -huh. in my pan over here, I'm going to fry some butter because everything's better with butter. <laughs> it is. <laughs> we're going to add some butter into our saucepan. And then I've got some chopped onions, leeks and garlic. Okay. Let that melt down and we're going to fry that off. Seems like an easy peasy pie. It is. It's similar to cottage pie. So you would have all your mince and you'd layer it up with your mashed potatoes. This is what we're going to be doing okay, with the fish pie. Lovely. So no pastry. If you're wanting a low carb version, you could possibly do. I noticed you didn't defrost it either. Is that no. to just make sure it doesn't overcook? Actually, no. You don't have to worry about it. Haddock is because it's smoked. It's almost actually cooked already to cooked a certain, already. Yeah, to a certain yeah. point. So it takes really quick to cook, and it's convenient. You don't have to worry. You just put it into the into the milk and cook from frozen. Wow, oh, that's great news. And the other great news is that Sea Harvest has ten mystery um, prizes to give away. If you pop over to our Facebook page, you'll find the link to the competition over there. And obviously, for the full recipe and shopping list, pop over to our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. So I'm frying my onions and my leeks. I'm going to give it a couple of minutes to just sauté down. And then I'm going to add, can you, bring, can you add the flour for me? Flour. There we go. Perfect. So we're going to basically coat our, our vegetables Should with some flour. Yep, yeah, thank you. There we go. We're basically also almost creating a little bit of a roux. Like a little, yes. Yes. That's do you do it slow? Do you, okay, do you need more? Uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. Perfect, that's okay. actually perfect. So we're going to just coat that up, and then the reason why we're coating our vegetables, they won't get lumpy, which is also exactly what we need. Yes, yeah. we hate lumps. No, I no, no <laughs> only want the lumpy part. And then what we're going to do is, we're going to add some of our poaching liquid. Okay. We can ladle that in. Take our ladle over And there. we do that on, obviously, reasonably low heat. Yeah, you right, want to so medium burn. heat, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We start adding that in. At this stage, I'd be like panicking and stirring it so hard <laughs> because I'm so afraid of getting lumps in my roof. So we get that. Okay. And we're gonna mix that up nicely. I'm just gonna add, keep adding. Do you wanna add them? Sure, yeah. Yeah, you can, you can be my ladler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can do that. Okay. So this milk is obviously already flavoured now with all yeah, that Yes, so it's got that smoky flavour, flavour too. Yeah. We can add a little bit of seasoning at the end as well. And then while you're doing that, you can carry on. I'm going to okay. start breaking up my haddock. Thank you. Sure. You can see it's starting to get it nice and thick already. Yes, it is. Okay. It really smells amazing with that leek. Okay, more? Yep, we're going to put all the milk in. Okay, all of it. Yeah. Thank you. There we go. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add frozen peas. Frozen peas. Frozen peas. You can hide it in your pie so the kids can't find it and then they can have a little bit. I don't know if your boys, they have a problem with eating their veggies or? Um, sometimes. They just suddenly get into like a, we won't eat our veggies today. But yeah, I do <laughs> and, have to conceal them. And then we're going to add um, some cheese. Okay. I'm going to add some cheese. You can do about half of that cheese. Half of this. Half of that. Mm -hmm. And then, there we go. And it's going to become this beautiful, cheesy, creamy oh, sauce. Oh, yummy, yummy. I'm going to put the heat off. Okay, that should be enough. Ooh, that's, yeah, that's perfect. I'm going to leave some for the top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix through my haddocks. Now, if haddocks being nice and poached, and you want to break it up into little chunks. Okay. And help me do that. That'll be perfect. I can and just use this later. Exactly, that's perfect. That's exactly what you want. And you want to have nice little nuggets of this, like, haddock. So right, you don't want it too fine. No. Okay. 
And you can use the haddock steaks or the petite fillets like we mm -hmm. have today. It doesn't matter. They're the same quality. They're just different sizes. Okay. I think that's perfect. Thank you. I think that's good, yeah. Yeah, that's good. I'll put that in. Oh, we've got our pot going in. Yeah. Right. We're going we're gonna to mix this through. And then what we're going to be topping this up with is um, champ, okay. champ mash, which is basically Irish mash, mm -hmm. similar to your normal mashed potato recipe with butter, some cream, salt, okay. and black pepper. And then you're going to mix through some chives yeah. or spring onions okay. and put that on top. And if you want to be quite fancy, what you can do is you can pipe your mashed potatoes on top. Okay. So just to talk through the rest of the, the, the recipe, we just put that into our oven, our oven mm -hmm. dish and then up. ladle that um, mash on top. Yes. And then some cheese. And then you pop it in the oven until it's golden brown. Okay, perfect. Okay. As you can see, the finished one over there, it yes. looks absolutely amazing, and that's probably what it should look like. That's <laughs> exactly guest. what it's going to look like. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jay. Thank you. Our next guest, Stian Bam, made himself well-known across South Africa for his role as the artist David Gheaf in SABC 2's long-standing soapy Seven Delan, where he seemed to have a knack for running into trouble with the ladies.